Abuse survivors and those that support them say cardinal law represented generations of pain caused by the church. WBZ's Adam Myler reports his death is causing a mix of emotions today. For some, the news of Cardinal Law's passing triggers past trauma and reopens old wounds. Bernard Cardinal Law's death has caused an enormous amount of pain for many victims. Many of those who say they were sexually assaulted by priests as children saw Cardinal Law as the symbol of the church's failure to stop their abusers. Attorney Mitchell Garabedian represented dozens of survivors. He says Law's death is a reminder of their pain. How are victims, how are survivors going to be handling this? How are the parents of victims who committed suicide going to be handling the news of Bernard Cardinal Law's death? Phil Saviano was just 11 years old when he was assaulted by a priest in Worcester. He says the timing of Cardinal Law's death is remarkable. Yesterday was the 25th anniversary of the day that I first found the courage to go down to the Boston Globe and speak for the first time about my own childhood abuse. I feel it's a cosmic connection of some sort and um, it just makes it, it makes the day all that more powerful for me. For more than 20 years, Saviano has dedicated his life to helping connect and support survivors through SNAP, the survivors network of those abused by priests. In this moment, he's focusing on those who aren't here today. So many of them died of suicide, died of drug overdoses, died of alcoholism because the trauma that those priests put them through when they were so young. I'm thinking of them. I'm mourning them today more than uh, I'm thinking of uh, the legacy of Cardinal Law. Anna Myler, WBZ News.